for the first starts after I've done my last meal. Last supper. Like the, the last supper. <laughs> this is almost 60 hours in. And oh my. It's difficult. What it says if I'm in ketosis or. Yeah, and then yeah. you drink what? Uh, 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 yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen. <laughs> Here we are. Seven day water fast. Let's go! <laughs> what is happening, good people? <laughs> Welcome to the Dark Chronicles, man. Oh shit. <laughs> well, from the title of the video, you know what we are going to talk about today, and it is my seven day water fast. But before we get into any of that, kindly note that if you're wanting to do an extended fast, it's best for you to seek your doctor's advice before starting and do not try it without supervision. If you've had any eating disorders or you have any issues with the way your body looks, then please consider your reasons for watching this video so what is fasting fasting according to Google <laughs> okay Wikipedia fasting is the willful refrainmen from eating and sometimes drinking from a purely psychological context fasting may refer to the metabolic status of a person who has not eaten overnight or for the metabolic state achieved after complete digestion and absorption of a meal. So what's considered a fast anyway? Um, simply put, it means you stop eating completely or almost completely for a certain stretch of time. A fast usually lasts from 12 to 24 hours, but sometimes, but some types continue for days at a time. In some cases, you may be allowed water, tea or coffee or even small amounts of food during the fasting period. So, I've always been conscious about how I look. <laughs> I've always been cautious about my body type. I've always been cautious about being lean and, you know, <laughs> look good in simple terms. So, I've always been doing um, intermittent fasting. This time around, as I was just Googling around, um, I came across somebody who fasted for 50 days. <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll, link, uh, I'll have the link to the video up here so you can just watch and it's, it's pretty amazing stuff. I, I wouldn't do that myself because I know <laughs> it's, it's not easy doing that. But that really amazed me. So I decided, okay, I've just been doing intermittent fasting for two, maybe, maybe 24 hours, uh, two days at most. But then I started being curious, what would happen if I did it for seven days? So I found myself Googling um, types of fasting. That's when I came across water fast. So I decided to try this fast because whatever I read online um, really blew my mind. And I decided, come on. Uh, well, what's the worst that can happen? If it gets too much, I'll stop. So I ran to my doctor, I asked him, look, can I do this? I want to do this, 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 this and that. And he was like, uh, we, we need to do a few tests, check your blood sugars, you know, all that, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't know much about that. Uh, at the end of it, the results came out that, well, I'm fit to do that. So here we are, seven day water fast. Let's go! <laughs> well, ha, it's your boy Dr. Ed here and today... <laughs> well, I'm scared shivers, but I have to do this. Yeah, so let's weigh ourselves here. See how much this fat boy weighs. <laughs> Mm. 
So you see, um, I weigh 73, uh, 76.3 kgs, and for my height, I'm a, I'm a short dude. <laughs> That's a bit too, I'm a bit too fat for, and actually, I also don't like this thing here. Be with me in this journey and uh, as the video progresses you'll see my progress the first starts after i've done my last meal so see you there <laughs> well so i did my body weight and i found that i was 63.7 kilograms and that's for my height that's overweight <laughs> i should weigh at least from 57 to around 71 kgs for me for that's a normal weight for somebody who is 5'7 like I am I'm a short dude <laughs> Well 5'7 ain't that short at least I'm taller than Kevin Hart <laughs> Don't even talk about Cat Williams and all that <laughs> Well so after my weighing, I was 63.7 kgs. And then I went, did my last meal and all that, and the fast began. Yeah, what's up, baby? So, um, I'm here just preparing the last, the last meal. Last it's supper. Like the, the last supper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are already late. I was supposed to be to already have eaten by uh, around seven, but by the looks of it, it's not gonna happen. Time now is half past six. So we begin. This is the last meal I'm doing. So we'll be back here on this table after seven days. You do the man. Come on. <laughs> so mm -hmm. how I do? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See you. Bye. So, 24 hours in, okay, 12 hours in, perfect. Nothing much, normal. I'm used to all this because I, I do intermittent fasting every now and then. 24 hours in, I was okay. I was good, feeling energetic. Yeah. Hello, hello, yeah. Uh, well, it's 24 hours now into the first and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling a bit hungry, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I guess uh, primarily because I'm used to intermittent fasting. And yeah, so let's keep going and see. <laughs> it's exciting. Um, I had a walk earlier today and uh, I was told uh, uh, by my doctor that I, I shouldn't do anything that is tasking, heavy, heavy, heavy tasks. But well, the nature of my job, I, I don't really think there is anything heavy to do. Yeah, it's all about, you know, work, work, work in the studio, make music, enjoy. So let's keep going. But after that, now it started becoming tough. <laughs> 36 hours in, and man, I was hungry as shit. Oh man, I was so hungry. I was craving everything. Guys in this house were just cooking stuff left. Of course, that's what that's what my mind was telling me because I could smell, literally smell food 24 hours a day, <laughs> every goddamn minute. Hey, what's up, people? Just an update, this is day two. 
Well, almost uh, 48 hours since I started the first and Oh man, I feel hungry as shit. <laughs> I feel like fainting, man. So I'm just taking a walk around just um, to keep my mind out of the food because when I stay in the house, man, <sighs> I'm just so tempted to go make a cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, and also keep drinking water and ah uh, yeah I hope I'm gonna make it through man it's just 48 hours and I feel like oh man <laughs> but yo I'm so determined to get this through and hoping for the best results <laughs> hey so this is almost 60 hours in and oh my it's difficult I couldn't sleep last night I had a very light sleep so I've decided to just start the day very early right now it's around 5.30 uh, well, if there is a breaking point, it is today. I mean, the way I'm feeling, I have a light headache, and I'm just feeling like my body is really fighting this. Yeah, it is. It is not good. It's so difficult. It's so hard. <sighs> I just feel like I could stop anytime. And the smell of food is just, oh my goodness. Guys in the house, whenever they are cooking anything, it's just, oh man. Mm. But from the videos I watched, everybody said this third and fourth days were the hardest and I'm just looking forward to when my body will be adapted but right now um, I'm going to pick up my keto strips today and just see if I'm fully in ketosis right now but so far so good I'm feeling lighter I'm feeling <sighs> Except the tiredness, I'm just so tired, and my body feels a bit weak, but I'm good. I'm gonna try to hold on as long as I can. I'm hoping to do the whole seven days, but today I have three sessions in studio. And also I have a TV interview in the evening. I just hope I look my best. <laughs> of course this came up when I had already started the first. So I can't stop, I'll try to hold out. But oh man. I feel as so though I'm a walking zombie. Yeah. <laughs> so let's keep going and see. It was strong. It wasn't easy, man. Oh, sh don't get lied to. The, the 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 first day, second day, good. When you're approaching the third day, it is hell. It is catastrophic. If there was a time I was to give up, that was the time I was to say, no. Who, who am I doing this for? It's just for me, so it ain't that serious, but I had a goal. And why was I pushing myself this much? It's because of something called autophagy. <laughs> I know you're looking at the skin like, what did you say? I said autophagy. At least I would like to think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Well, what is autophagy? 
headline.com says autophagy is the body's way of cleaning out damaged cells in order to regenerate newer healthier cells according to priya korana phd in nutrition education from columbia university auto means self and phagy means eat so the literal meaning of autophagy is self eating it is recycling and cleaning at the same time just like hitting a reset button to your body plus it promotes survival and adaptation as a response to various stresses and toxins accumulated in our cells you see so how do you attain autophagy when 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 you do an elongated water fast your cells regenerate themselves they it's like cleaning up your system and that was my goal <laughs> that, that, that was what i wanted the most forget about the weight loss and all that because i had i had realized that i was i'm not that young i'm i'm almost 37 years old i was feeling more tired i always found that i had stomach upset and, and my body was just not okay so i was trying to achieve autophagy so that i can hit a reset button to my body so that fix some of these small things i was experiencing medically seven day water fast heart should make you achieve autophagy and that was my main goal i couldn't stop so after the first second third day I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not stopping. I feel like dying. I feel like fainting, but <laughs> I'm not stopping anytime. I have to go on. Day number four. Huh? How many hours are those? Oh man, too many. Too <laughs> many. And today I woke up feeling so energetic. I woke up feeling so good. And uh, I decided to order some keto strips. Keto, stri ketone strips. Yeah. Oh man. What I'm not used to this shit. What the hell is that? I'm just. <laughs> so I ordered ketone strips. They've just been delivered. So I want to see if I'm in ketosis or what is going on. Uh, let's do the test and see what it says. If I'm in ketosis or well, my body is fighting this. But today I feel so good actually. I feel normal apart from a little tiredness and oh my god I'm hungry. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm hungry. So let me do the keto uh, tests and then I'll be back on your screens in a minute. God damn it, you fought me. Although I felt like my body was literally giving up. <laughs> what gave me the push to go on is when I, I did um, a ketone strip test and I found I was already in ketosis. Oh my goodness, I felt like... <laughs> have you, have, it, it was like I, I had been injected with some energy to keep going. So I was like, I feel like dying, I feel like fainting, I feel like my body is literally giving up, but I have to do this. Yeah, so when I, I, I saw that, um, is it a maroon color of the ketone strip? I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> if there was a time I was to give up, it was day three. I was like, oh man, why am I doing this to myself? Why? Is it that serious? Is this, but waking up on day four. I woke up with so much energy. I don't know what happened. Okay, after Googling, I realized, well, that's how it goes. After the third day, now your body kicks into survival mode. Uh, and then when you're in ketosis, uh, your body is now burning fat for energy. So it starts using up the reserves in your stomach, in your hips. Uh, the belly fat now starts getting burned for energy. Now your body is actually using fat, not sugar, for energy. So, 
day four, I was just feeling okay. I actually went for a shoot. I had TV interviews. I, my day was pretty normal. I was anybody who would have looked at me would just realize my energy levels. I'm actually usually somebody who is very active when I'm with people. My energy is always up there. But then, then you would have noticed it's not the same. But I was fine. I was fine. Nobody, would, unless I told somebody I was doing this, 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 and that, nobody would have guessed what is going on. I feel good, man. <laughs> we are at a shoot, and this thing is always lightweight, but now it feels like two tons. <laughs> but keeping it strong, keeping it going. Ha! Now, let me show you the enemies of progress. Yeah? I need to make a car too. And look, look at what they are doing. We have to support our brother. Hello. Uh, we are here to support doing. our brother. brother. He's doing, I don't know what he's doing. First, yes. maybe drinking only water. But yes. we're just showing him the yes. beautiful and life I, that he's missing. Let yes. me ask you. Look, God bless you ah. with work, ah. success, ah. Yes. money. And then yes. you drink water. Ah. Ah. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> With so, friends like this one, who, no, need no, you, who needs enemies? Fast. So, <laughs> you first thing you can't reduce the size of the chapati. I always say I will invite him. Today he's here. I have invited him for supper or dinner. Mm. But unfortunately, things are fortunate. No, he made a mistake. Let me tell you what went wrong. The man, we said we are coming for dinner. He invited Ndina Ndonga into the bus. <laughs> so, I'm going to Bro, Come day five and six. Well, I was just gliding through. <laughs> but, and the, again, I was drinking a lot of water. I think I was drinking a bottle every two hours. I was drinking one liter every two hours, every two hours. But then another thing I realized was that I was feeling very cold. My body temperature was <whistles> down there. <laughs> uh, I, I later found out that you see your body burns uh, fuel. When you eat, the, metabol the, the, the metabolism and all that is what keeps your body heated up. But now, because there was nothing in my digestive system, my body was very cold. So I was in hoodies and all that. All the time, I was just in jumpers. Um, if I'm just seated maybe on my desk working, I would have a duvet. I was feeling so cold. But then, kept going, day five, six, went by, day seven, I was pretty excited. <laughs> I was, I mean, <sighs> it was an amazing, amazing experience. Yo, what's up, people? So, today is day six. And I'm feeling energetic. No, today is the only day in this journey that I've woken up feeling okay. I'm not hungry anymore. No. I think my body is now fully in survival mode. Yeah, so I can't wait for tomorrow though. Ha! I miss food. So I did another keto test, and uh, if you can see, I am in the largest, largest quantity of uh, ketogens, which means my body is burning fat 100%. So, well, this is exciting, and let's see what tomorrow holds. Cheers. Joe, what's up, good people? <laughs> well, Sikya Sabaleva is day seven and yeah, 
no matter the spark salama, to put fresh in every stuff. You're still healthy, still go, still kicking, still pumping. <laughs> We're just about to break the fast. And uh, so I want to do the final way, uh, see how well we have done. And I'll let you through how I break the fast. So let's go and see. Well, actually after day seven, it was cool. My body was feeling very good. When I broke the fast, actually I broke the fast using oxtail soup. It took me a bit, two more days to resume eating. Um, I did oxtail and then started introducing food slowly into my system. But generally, my body felt different. Yeah, as you've seen, <laughs> I'm six kgs down and boy do I look good. <laughs> God damn it. My tummy is almost non-existent right now. And I feel so awesome. So yes, so catch you later. Yo, what's up? Finally, <laughs> we are here. 168 hours later, seven days. About to break my fast, and uh, what am I using to break the fast? I'm using oxtail soup. So, ha. this is it. So, as the commentary goes on, um, I'll tell you a whole lot of bunch of other things. Keep it tuned. I had lost like six kilograms, six plus kgs in those seven days, and I felt new. <laughs> For lack of a better word, I felt like my body had regenerated. I felt like uh, I was reborn. So this is something I would advise if you want to do it. And please, do not do it without uh, supervision from your doctor. Visit your doctor. If you have any underlying issues, you should find out if uh, for people who are diabetics, for people who have uh, stomach problems, maybe ulcers, for people who have heart problems, I wouldn't advise you to, to go into this without strict supervision from your doctor. But seven day water fast, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so doing another one very soon. But, uh, we are headed into the Christmas season. After it's done, January, remember, uh, probably the second week, I'm doing another one. Uh, I want to make this a norm. I want to go. I, I want to, to even try a 21 day. Let's live healthy. When your body is healthy, when you are healthy, everything else falls into place. So, this is my story. This is my seven day fast uh, journey. I hope you've loved it. Uh, Remember, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all my social medias, uh, Dr. Eddie, The Doc Chronicles, uh, Red Dreams uh, Productions, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the names are all there. 
I'll have links on the description also. So, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any uh, compliments, if you have comments, let's hear them. And remember, your health comes first. Live healthy. Ciao and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.